we come before thy presence we exhort you king of glory seated on thy throne of power lord god you command blessings you speak mercy you speak grace you release good things you release the treasures of the kingdom to your children you enlarge us lord god here we are in your house this morning we desire lord god to worship you we delight in praising you we are in your house that you may equip us Lord so we come here as poor in heart that you may fill us Lord with good things with eternal things in Jesus mighty name Lord we uh, uh, commit this day before you and to present ourselves before you. Lord God, we pray for those who are on the way. But may join us that we may be blessed. We invite your spirit here. Your presence be with us, Lord God. That we may hear from you, Lord. Lord God, whatever things oppress us, the things that uh, bring us down, the things that weigh heavily on us, we cast these burdens unto you. Take our burdens, Lord God. And Lord, as we worship you, let us delight in you because you are good. Bless every uh, activity that takes place here. The teaching, the preaching, the announcements, the heart of worship ministering, the melodies, the Sunday school. Let it be a day of equipping. We bless you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 Heart of worship, we salute you. Heart of worship, to salimu. You have always been there. Kila wakati mna kuwepo. Very consistent. Watu wa mfululizo. May God bless you. Wana mungu awabariki. And enlarge you. Na awapanue. Uh, this is a blessed morning the Lord has given us. I'd like to appreciate our bishop and mom for opportunities like this to uh, present the teachings that we may grow and that the word may edify us. Uh, we are walking in the month uh, in the, uh, uh, and the theme of enlargement this month of July. Katika huu mwaka wa July. Uh, today, Na leo, I would like to share with us on the uh, topic territorial enlargement. Juu ya kichwa maeneo uh, kupanuliwa kimaeneo territorial enlargement kupanuliwa kimaeneo uh, territory basi eneo territory means space eneo maana yake ni nafasi room e nafasi land inchi ama yes. ardhi territory eneo uh, God has it as a covenant. Mungu anayo kama agano. Uh, enlargement. Kupanuliwa. It is covenantal. 
The Lord intends to give us space. Mungu yapendwa sapenda sana kupatia nafasi. To give us room or territory. Kutupatia nafasi ama eneo. Now this is one thing we desire. Na hiki ni kitu kimoja ambacho tutatamani. Territory is a gift from God. Eneo ni kipawa ama ni zawadi ya kutoka kwa Mungu. God spoke it. Mungu aliinena. But among the blessings he commands to us ya kwamba zile baraka ambazo anatuamrishia one of it is territory moja yake ni eneo genesis 12 mwanzo 12 media give us genesis 12 tupatie mwanzo 12 you shall read 1 to 4 tusome mstari wa kwanza hadi wa 4 the lord had said to abraham leave your country your people and your father's household and go to the land i will show you Bwana akamwambia Abrahamu toka wewe katika inji yako na jamaa zako na nyumba ya baba yako uende mpaka inji nitakayokuonyesha Verse 2 Mstari wa pili I will make you into a great nation and I will bless you I will make your name great and you'll be a blessing Nami nitakufanya wewe kuwa taifa kubwa na kukubariki na kulikuza jina lako nawe uwe baraka nawe uwe baraka I will bless those who bless you curse whoever curses you I will curse and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you Nami nitawabariki wa kubarikio naye akulaanie nitamlaani na katika wewe jamaa zote za dunia watabarikiwa Verse 4 Msari wa 4 So Abraham left as the Lord had told him and Lot went with him. Basi Abraham akaenda katika uh, kama Bwana alivyomuamuru Lutu akaenda pamoja naye. So God here is telling Abraham leave. Basi hapa Mungu anamwambia Abraham to Abdo, the land I will show you. Aende katika inji ambayo atakayomuonyesha. He wants to give him some territory somewhere. Anataka umpatia sehemu eneo mahali. Exodus 34:24. Eh kutoka 24 mstari wa 24. Exodus 34:24. Eh, kutoka 34 mstari wa 24 I will drive out nations before you nitayaondoa mataifa mbele zako and enlarge your territory na kupanua inji yako so this is god giving our fathers room kwa hivyo huyu ni mungu akiwapatia baba zetu nafasi space Esehemu. Now why does God want his people to have room or space or territory? Kwa nini Mungu anawataka watu wake wapate nafasi ama sehemu? Again let's ask. Tena pia wacheni tuulize. Why do you move from kwenu to kwakwa? Kwa nini basi unatoka kwenu ukaenda mahali ambako ni kwako? Yeah. From kwenu to kwakwa toka mahali ambapo ni kwenu ukaingia mahali kwako well one uja kwanza because this is the same concept here god why is god moving people from place to another kwa sababu dhana ni hiyo hiyo tu kwa nini mungu anawatoa watu mahali fulani anawapeleka mahali pengine number one ya kwanza for freedom ili wapate uhuru freedom uhuru Where people are squeezed. Pale watu wamefinyana. There are all manner of conflict. E, kuna vita vya aina yote. Maana kuku wako ukiwaachilia kwa sababu kuku wako when you release them. Your anger your curse will, will tell you. Wajomba wako binamu zako watakuambia. Kuku sia kusiye mboso siakwa. Kuku wangu wana wako wanakula maharagwe yao. Na hivyo londikie pale sasa umenifika nitu iko achifu sasa tutaenda kwa chifu these are the things that happen haya ndio mambo ambayo yanafanya because 
you are constricted the space is too small you, you, your animals cannot graze freely so you are not free now in Genesis 13:7, this is Lot and, 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 and Abraham Genesis 13:7. Genesis, yes, Genesis. Mwanzo. And quarreling arose between Abraham's herdsmen and the herdsmen of Lot. The Canaanites and the Perizzites were also living in the land at that time. Kuka wako ugomvi kati wachungaji wanyama wa Abramu na wachungaji wanyama wa Lutu na siku zile wakanaani na waperezi walikuwa wanaishi katika inji hiyo. So Abraham as his husband Wa hivi Ibrahim yuko na wafanyekazi wa mifugo yake and uh, you also have Lot here Na tena pia yuko na Lutu hapa Here you also have Canaanites Hapa pia kuna wa Canaan You have Perizzites Unao wa Perizzi in that land Katika hiyo inji So now in this kind of situation the space has become too small so what is happening you have quarrels, you have conflicts, you have chaos here Unamigogoro, unaugomvi, kuna matatizo hapa There is strife here e, kuna mingangano hapa And there is jealousy Na tena pia kuna wivu There is pain Kuna uchungu So what happens is that Abraham is told to move Kwa hivyo kile kinafanyeka ni kwamba Ibrahim anaagizwa kuondoka God tells him Mungu anamwambia Look at the horizons on this side Ebu tazama upeo This side Upendo, upendo, I give you that land so live Kwa hivyo ondoka. and he leaves lot Na yeye and so he settles there is peace there is freedom for him Na hivyo anatulia, na kuna uhuru, na kuna amani kwake. I, in first chronicles 4 mambo ya nyakati wa kwanza sura ya 4 9 10 mstari wa 9 na the kuna. story of Jabez ile hadithi ya Besi mm. mm. First Chronicles. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother had named him Jabez, saying, I gave birth to him in pain. And Jabez cried out to the God of Israel. Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my territory. Huyo yebesi ya limlilia mungu wa Israel ya kisema, lau kwamba ugenimbarikia kweli kweli na kunizidishia hozi yangu. Let your hand be with me and keep me from harm so that I will be free from pain. Na mkono wako ungekuwa pamoja nami na we ungenilinda na uovu ili usiwe kwa uzuni yangu naye Mungu akamjalia hayo aliyoyaomba. Uh -huh. So Jabez was born Yabesi. in pain. Yabesi, Yabesi alizaliwa katika uchungu. And most likely he lived in pain. Na tena pia kaishi katika huzuni. What he must have been very constricted in life. Lazima alifinywa sana katika maisha. Okay there on a ata vile anakula vile analala eh, nyumba anayolala constricted squeezed alikuwa amefinywa kabisa katika mali analala kile chakula analala na mambo mengine alikuwa amefinywa kabisa nakumbuka tukiwa wadogo tunakuwa oh, unapata mnalala kitanda cha 3 by 6 na mko waine hapo uh, very 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 squeezed so this is the kind of life jabez lived sasa mmefinyana pale katika kitanda hicho kidogo na mko wanne Sasa maisha ya besi ya likuwa na mna hiyo. Our sitting room is the size of six by six. Ama sebule kipimochake ni sita kwa sita. So when you sit there, Kwa hivyo, mnapo keti yako. Uh, you are really squeezed. Akika mefinyana. So ya besi is praying now for a territory. Kwa hivyo ya besi sasa anaumbea sehemu kukua. He has lived without space. Ameishi pakiwa apana na fasa. For so long. Kwa mda mrefu. So time has come, he prays that Lord 
enlarges his territory. And the Lord does it. Number two, why God uh, blesses us with a territory is for our growth for our growth you are able to make wealth where there is space I tell you even if you have the, the, the money somewhere in a bank account and you talk of investing you will need space somewhere and the space is about where can I buy a plot and raise some rentals where can I buy land and do some serious agriculture where can I buy land and build a spacious house so when you have a territory you grow Unakua. and because you can create wealth in Genesis 26 Genesis 26 is a story of Isaac Genesis 26 uh, there was a famine in the land that is besides the earlier one during Abraham's time. And Isaac went to Abimelech, king of the Philistines, in Gerar. Okay, verse 6. So Isaac stayed in Gerar. He was given a territory somewhere. Now what happens there? He begins some serious agriculture there. All right, verse 12. Isaac planted crops. In that land. The same year he reaped a hundredfold. Because the Lord had blessed him. Verse 13. The man became rich. And his wealth continued to grow. Na utajiri wake ukazidi kukua until he became very wealthy. Hata akafanyika tajiri mkuu. Territory. Eneo. Space. Nafasi. This man has grown. Mtu huyu amekua. This man has accumulated wealth. Mtu huyu amekusanya utajiri. So with an, uh, with, with with the territory, kwa hivyo pamoja na nafasi, we grow. Tunakua. We make wealth. Tuna utajiri. Jacob went to Egypt. Yakobo akaenda Misri. They were a family of 70. Walikuwa familia wa watu sabini. Well, remember, Kumbuka. there was famine in the land of Israel. Kulikuwa na njaku katika inji ya Israeli. No, in Egypt. Kule Misri. Remember, Kumbuka. in Egypt they have Slaves. Misri ni watumwa. Pharaoh has made them slaves. Pharaoh amewafanya kuwa watumwa. Now, a slave has no territory. Mtumwa hana sehemu. A slave operates at the mercy of the master. Mtumwa anafanya kazi chini ya rehema za mtu za mkubwa wake. So you see for over 400 years. Kwa hivyo tunaona zaidi ya miaka 400. These people cannot make any wealth. Watu hao hawezi wakafanya utajiri wowote. Because they have no territory of their own. Kwa sababu hawana sehemu yao wenyewe. Now we are all familiar with the refugee uh, status. 
Tunajua ile hali ya wakimbizi ya wakimbizi. Well, refugees wakimbizi have no freedom. Hawana uhuru. You leave your country, you go on the camp somewhere. Ingia katika inji na unaenda kuweko katika camp you, mahali. You, you don't go out. Na hautoki pale. You only your freedom is only within the cage. Uhuru wako ni pale tu katika huo mtego. And actually that is no freedom at all. Na hakika huo sio uhuru hakika. So, so they were misused by the Egyptians na wa Misri to make wealth for them. Kujitengenezea utajiri. So you they can't do business, they can't interact much. Hawezi wakafanya biashara, hawezi wakaingiliana sana. They wait for support. Wanangojea kuungwa mkono. You age and die. Unazeka na unakufa without being able to do anything ukiwa huna nafasi ya kufanya because you have no territory sababu huna sehemu only when lord, the lord hears their cry ni wakati bwana aliposikia kile and kilita. through the prophet moses na kupitia nabii musa they are delivered walikombolewa and they go to their own land na wakaenda katika inji yao where they are able to make wealth pale ambapo wanaweza kutengeneza utajiri where they are free pale ambapo wako na uhuru well so for in, for growth kwa hivyo kwa creation of wealth kukuza ama kutengeneza utajiri that is the other reason why god gives us a territory hiyo ndio sababu nyingine ambayo mungu anatupatia sehemu ama eneo in luke 22:12 luka 22 mstari wa 12 luke 22:12 luka 22 mstari wa 12 jesus sent John and Peter. Yes, wakamtuma Yohana na Petro to prepare the last supper. Ili waende wakaandae meza ya uh, uh, pasaka ya mwisho. Well, he will show you. Naye atawaonyesha a large upper room. E chumba kikubwa gorofani. It is somebody will be waiting there. Na kuna mtu ambaye atakuwa anangojea hapo. And that person will show you a large upper room. Mtu huyu ataonyesha chumba ambacho ni kikubwa kule juu. All furnished. Ama kimewekwa samani. Make preparations there. Basi mkaweze kukiandaa, kukiandaa. I was wondering why is Jesus uh, so uh, serious here? You see some adjectives here large eh hapa yes na shangaa kwa nini Yesu akatumia maneno mengine ya vivumishi pale large large apa furnished cha juu na kimeandaliwa okay let's our focus is large sasa mtazamo wetu hapa ni kubwa i have noticed that uh, when there are very serious deliberations Nikatambua kwamba kunapokuwa na mambo ya muhimu ya kujadilia. When an institution wakati uh, taasisi reaches a point where the focus is on some serious deliberations. Napofika mahali ya kwamba sasa ule mtazamo ni katika, ni katika majadiliano ya kumaanisha. Especially focused on results. Sana sana juu ya matokeo. Serious and gender E agenda za muhimu are discussed at large rooms zinazungumziwa katika vyumba ambavyo ni vikubwa large rooms vyumba vikubwa when we are going to analyze results wakati tunaenda kufanya uchunguzi wa matokeo when we are setting the strategic plan wakati tunaweka ile mikakati i normally see our, our bosses huwa naona wakubwa wetu take these meetings at to, to, to places with large spacious rooms wakipeleka mikutano hii katika vyumba ambavyo vinazo nafasi because that is sort of underlining the seriousness of this matter kwa sababu hiyo sasa ni kuweka mkazo juu ya umuhimu wa jambo hili this was the last supper hii ilikuwa pasaka ya mwisho and the last supper na pasaka ya mwisho this one cannot just be held 
anywhere. This is a very serious meeting. Because the master will be leaving. And they will be delegating duty. To those who will be left. So it's a very serious meeting. It was taken to a large upper room and all the stakeholders were to come the 12 disciples why is it large uh, Jesus yes is too large to be accommodated in a small room the mindset of Jesus is too large. It cannot be accommodated in a small room. The mindset of serious leaders is usually large. It cannot be accommodated in a small room. So the room has to be large. The territory is spacious. The kind of talk that is taking place here, it is not going to be very small. No. Jesus is too large for small talk, for cheap ideas. So large is very significant here. Well, Isaiah 54. Isaiah Hamsin One to three. It's a very sweet scripture. Sing, O barren woman. Imba wewe ulie tasa. The barren woman here is a limited person. This is a very squeezed person. Walking in narrowness. Now time has come. The prophet is telling her. It is time to shout. It is time to speak. It is time for you to have enough of limitation. Time has come to claim your space. Time has come to claim your territory. You have had no child. You have had no fruit. Now time has has come for you to speak fruitfulness to speak growth verse 2 enlarge the place of your tent stretch your tent cuttings very wide Lengthen your cords. Strengthen. Yani, this one. Sasa Enlarge the place of your tent. Where do you stay? We have been used to living in a house that is four by four. Time has come. Now make it 13 by 13. Sasa the place of your tent. Enlarge it. Ipanue. Raise your faith. Raise your faith. If you thought you can only stay in Lodiba. Now enlarge the place of your tent. Raise your faith. Time has come to live at the king's palace. To wine and dine with the king. Lengthening our cords. In 1st Kings chapter 6. 1st Kings chapter 6. Verse 1. 
First Kings 6. Wafalme wa kwanza sita. No, is it first to be second? The story of uh, uh, the prophet, uh, yes, second kings. The company of the prophet said to Elisha. Look, the place where we meet with you is too small for us. So it is time. Basi ni wakati. To move to the place where we want to settle the ark. Wetu twende mahali ambapo tutasaidi kutuliza ile safina. Okay, verse 2. Mstari wa pili. Let us go to the Jordan. Na twendeni kule Yordani. Where each one of us can get a pole. Pale kila mmoja wetu atatoa eh, kijiti. And let us build a place there for us to live. Na ili tujifanyie huko mahali pa kukaa. And he said what? Na ya kajibu ha. Go. Twendeni. Go. Nendeni. Their place where they meet has become too small. Mahali wanapo kutania pamekua padogo. Time has come for a bigger room. Wakati umefika kwa nafasi kubwa. For a bigger territory. E, kwa eneo ambayo ni kubwa. Where there will be freedom. Pale ambapo kutakuwa na uhuru. So they say, let us go to the Jordan. Basi wakamua na waende kule Yorodani. We get materials. E, wapate maligafi. To build a place. Wajenge mahali. For us where we can live. Wetu mahali ambapo toweza kuka. This thing is about faith and also work. Jambo hini ni kuhusu imani pamoja na kazi. For enlargement, we need to raise our faith. We have to sing. The woman is told, sing, oh barren woman. Because what is coming to you is enlargement. Now go to the Jordan with your hands. Do some work. Bring resources for the work of the Lord. Because as you do it, you will find you, 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 your territory will be, will be enlarged. <laughs> as you do the work of the Lord, your territory will be enlarged. And so they go to the Jordan. They bring resources to build a house, e, a place for them to live. I say, Ninasema, Territorial enlargement kwa eneo. is very important for us. Ni kwa sana kwetu. Without space, Pasipo na nafasi. there is very little we can do. Kuna kidogo sana. And God has commanded it na ya mungu that we need territory. Ya kwamba eneo With the territory we are free. Na tuna uhuru. With the territory we are going to be enlarged basi in the name of Jesus Christ. Jina la Yesu and we shall become a great in the land as we gain territories. I, my prayer is that each one of us here will be enlarged territorial, territorially Families will be enlarged territorially year after year mwaka baada ya mwaka. time after time e, wakati baada ya wakati. but bishop will be going Kwamba, to anoint e, kutia mafuta. territories of brethren ya as we get enlarged because that is evidence hiyo ni that the Lord is doing something in our lives ya kitu yetu. that we are getting free as we gain territory in the name of Jesus Christ Lord God we thank you this particular morning because of your word you have commanded a blessing 
to each and every one of us. Through the covenant with Abraham, it was a covenant to enlarge us, to give us a territory where we can operate freely, where we can make wealth, where we can expand in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, Lord God, that you'll enlarge our territories, that there shall be no pain in our lives, that there will be no squeezing in our lives, that even as we do your work, Lord God, we shall be expanded. It is our desire, Lord God, to settle the ark. So help us, Lord God. Give us resources to do your work. To bring resources to expand your house. The way we shall worship you. Call upon your name, O Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you and we exhort you. We magnify your name. Enlargement is ours. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. 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 God bless us. Thank you. Thank you. God bless.